Good morning, Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We are going to tie two versions of one fly. This is called the Kryptonite Spanker. It's typically used for uh, silvers in Alaska, but it turns out it's a very good fly for silvers and Chinook and chum salmon. It's really easy to tie. This is Polar Flash. It's so easy. I'm going to try to do a couple of different colors, one with weight, one without. Uh, the first one with dumbbell eyes. Secure those nicely towards the front of the hook, but leave plenty of space in front. These flies, when, when you see them available for commercial purchase in Alaska, they often sell them in sizes one and one aught. Those are pretty big flies and when fish are in fresh, they'll bite those pretty well. But when the fish have been in for even just a little bit and they've been, they've seen some other hooks, some other flies, they will get a lot cagier. You didn't notice that chenille, that crystal chenille flipping loose, did you? Anyway, the point is this is a size 6 hook. Uh, it's about a half the size of what people often fish. And very often, this fly at half the size will actually be more effective than the bigger one. I'm going to give you a little rotation on this one so you can see it from the different angles. You're thinking, my gosh, that's a complicated fly. I can never do that. So I'm going to show you a different color var variation. Pink is the one people usually go to first when they're fishing for silvers. Chartreuse tends to be a go-to color fishing for kings and chums. You take a look here when I tie in my, uh, this is Polar Flash. Wrap it forward a few turns. Wrap it back on itself so it can't come loose. Trim it. Um, where was I? Doesn't matter. Uh, oh yeah, pink. Pink, silver, chartreuse, chum, kings. How about pink and chartreuse? Can't go wrong with that combination. Uh, you can tie this in orange and red. You can make it purple with, a, with an orange head. These are all good color combinations. This is a cactus chenille, real sparkly. You get the idea. I'm, I'm just building up a little bit of, a little bit of bulk here on the front of the fly. These are not fished for uh, spooky fish, but the smaller sizes will often be received better than the bigger ones. I'm going to do a little whip finish here, and then I'm going to roll this fly around so you can get a good look at it from all angles. And while you're tying up five or six dozen of these, you'll be dreaming about that trip to Alaska, Great Lakes, Killer on the Great Lakes, Argentina, lower 48. There you go, the kryptonite spanker.